You join me here in Brooklyn today with Nissan and the 2025 Kicks. Obviously, we can see it has a bold new styling language, but most importantly, it now offers all-wheel drive, along with an updated four-cylinder engine, impressive new technology, and increased space in both for the passenger and cargo room. The 2025 Kicks is definitely going to be coming in with a storm this summer. So let's go dive in and take a look at all the new features of the 2025 Kicks. So now here in the top spec SR grade, the 2025 Kicks now offers over eight inches of ground clearance and pair that with their new intelligent all-wheel drive system and an upgraded four-cylinder engine making over 140 horsepower, the 2025 Kicks is gonna be ready for you in all weather conditions. Starting off in the front here with the 2025 Kicks, we have an all new redesigned front fascia and a more boxy, more SUV style look. Definitely something Nissan wants to be going with here. You can see Nissan's updated badge here with their white outlining. And I really love this new LED headlight setup here. And this little cool LED animation here is exclusive to the SR model as well. So each different trim of the kicks is gonna give you a different flavor. Alongside down here of the 2025 kicks here in this RSR trim, we have these all new exclusive 19 inch wheels that we'll be getting on the SR trim. Really cool kind of gigantic three spoke design. I think with these giant spokes, it's gonna offer you a little bit more fuel efficiency a little bit more air is going to be able to pass over those. And another really cool thing that Nissan has done with the 2025 Kicks is alongside this lower rocker panel here, we have this kind of golf ball style pattern that they, Nissan's saying it was inspired by a sneaker, which is a pretty cool touch. I think it adds a nice three-dimensional design touch around the exterior of the Kicks. You can also find it up front of the Kicks as well. Coming around to the rear of the 2025 Kicks, we really can see that cool floating roof line design Nissan has been going with for a while. We also see one of the few different options you can have for a two-tone exterior roof color here with this kind of gray paint finish as well as a red roof line. We can also see a little bit of a Kicks logo hidden back here, just adding a lot of fun new Easter eggs that Nissan is putting on the 2025 Kicks. Coming around to the rear fascia of the Kicks, it wouldn't be a surprise if you don't recognize this new Kicks as being a Kicks as it looks so different than the previous um, generation. I really love this new kind of integrated black LED style taillight design. We have combination rear um, taillights back here with some LEDs as well as some traditional incandescent style lights for your turn signals. And the real big thing with the rear of this Kicks is how big the trunk space is. Opening our new trunk in the Kicks, it may be a power operated, but it is an absolutely massive space with now class leading 30 cubic feet of space. With these seats up in all wheel drive models, I believe you do actually have a little bit more storage back here with this kind of foam divider over here. And you can get an optional spare tire, which I think is going to be a huge plus for some people that don't just want a fix a flat kit. We may not have power on the kicks, but it's really not that high of a height. And we do have a pretty low load floor to kind of bring in some cargo into the rear of the kicks, which is going to be a really good plus, especially with this additional space you're getting back here. Now coming into the rear of the kicks, we can see this increased vehicle size has really benefited you in terms of a passenger. Getting inside the kicks, we have a lot more knee room available to you. We also have more shoulder room in the rear as well. And I really like how nice and open this interior is with this incredibly huge dual pane panoramic sunroof that actually opens, which is I think a really cool, almost class lit exclusive feature here. I like the new materials on the door panels as well. We kind of have this um, faux carbon fiber stitching and material here with this dual tone stitching with red and like the silver material, really nice touches here. We also have one touch down for your windows, a little bit of a storage cubby in the back of the seats as well. And like I said, foot and knee space are really impressive in the 2025 Kicks. Now hopping inside, I did want to prove to you that I do have enough headroom in here. I am six feet tall and I can perfectly sit my head back in here. I have another about maybe an inch, an inch and a half of headroom back here behind this little hump that they have cut out in front of the new panoramic sunroof back here. And it is a pretty comfy space as well. In the back of the kicks, we have these really cool pattern design seats on this particular SR trim and a huge windows back here for a lot of spacious viewing so you don't feel too cramped. We are also getting two USB-C ports back here for all of your charging needs. And in the center console here that will fold down, we have these two nice cup holders. And honestly, the rear hump in the floor is not too bad, even with this all-wheel drive option. So you really could fit three people back here if you did need to. This center seat does fit me perfectly. I don't feel too particularly cramped that again, I am six feet tall, though sitting in the back does kind of impede a little bit on headroom as it is meant to be sat in all the time, though we do have two lights up here, which is a nice little touch to kind of give you a little more openness in the interior of this cabin. Okay, guys, let's take a tour of the front of the Nissan Kicks now. We can see we have keyless access available on the Kicks, which is a lovely touch. And opening up to this new interior is a really nice welcome space for this segment as well as for the Kicks. Again, we see even nicer door materials up front here that we saw in the rear end. That nice dual contrast stitching here on this particular SR trim and a really nice kind of curvature to the door handles. It's going to be nice, soft for your elbows to rest on. A decent amount of cargo space on the sides of those doors here, which I heard can fit up to a 32 ounce um, Yeti 
tumbler, which is pretty impressive, though my little tiny little coffee mug does fit in there pretty nicely as well. Hopping inside, we have a nice little sill plate here that should be enough to kind of um, deal with some scruffs and some mud in the ruts. And we can see this new design for these seats here. Really interesting kind of checkered style pattern on the center of the seating here with this red and black cloth material. On the ends, we do have um, a nicer kind of more durable material. I do like the general design of the seats though. They do look very funky. And we can see we have our Bose speakers now integrated onto both front driver and passenger headrests, which is a nice touch. Definitely gonna improve the sound experience in the kicks. Let's shut the door up for us pretty quickly. Nice solid thunk from the door panel here. So what do we have on the interior of this new Kicks? Now I do have to warn you, this is a pre-production vehicle. So ignore all the faults and everything because it's just here statically. Um, and this is a pretty, really, really big upgrade on this interior for the Kicks. It almost feels something way above its class. I'd love the new flat bottom style interior that Nissan is doing on the kicks here, especially with their steering wheel here. It's a very thin rimmed steering wheel. And I do actually like that because you can actually see the entire of, the entirety of this front gauge here, which is going to give you a lot of viewing capability, especially with this nice over 12 inch display. Now standard, you are going to get a seven inch display on the lower end trims of the kicks. So this is the one you're definitely going to want to go for because it is gorgeous to look at. We can play with a few things around here as it is static here. We can see a few different of our interior controls here from our propeller assist which this does have which is a pretty impressive feature on this sr trim and we can see our sirius xm tire pressure drive computer as well as a home screen and you do have additional toggle views that you can change from this one as well as this other metered view so nissan is giving you the flexibility to kind of change the displays here now on the kicks we also do have automatic headlights as well as automatic wipers which is a nice touch and i really do like this new infotainment system that you are getting on the kicks here again a huge upgraded it's also angled a little bit towards the driver to give you a little bit more easeability and accessing accessing it i like this kind of card style layout here and so far so good it seems like a pretty good and fluid infotainment system now i, I have to warn you again this is a pre-production vehicle so if there are any issues i can't really blame nissan on it as it's not a final production car but i really do like this layout um again it's pretty similar to what we're gonna see on some other nissan products but i think this is maybe more um, advanced than even the infinity i was just driving around um earlier last month now coming down to this lower console area here we do have these new kind of capacitive touch buttons for our climate control systems blended into this lower panel here thankfully we do have some um, audio feedback to what's going on with these touch buttons and they're pretty um decently separated from each other so they're not too hard to kind of mess up with that situation though again huge props to nissan for separating the climate controls from the infotainment system that's a big complaint i have on a lot of modern vehicles and we have a lot of charging solutions down here we have a wireless charging mat that is available we also have a usb C ports, two of them up front for you right here. A nice electronic parking brake located away from everything, which I think cleans up this cap, the center console a little bit. I love the contrasting color here around the shifter. And I also love that Nissan actually gave you a physical shifter to um, change your transmissions from reverse neutral drive. And we also have a um, B mode as well. We also have drive modes and the new kicks. We have sport, standard, eco, and now a new snow mode with this intelligent all-wheel drive system. So that's gonna be a really helpful feature again for y'all in the areas where you're gonna need some more traction at, at all times. Again, I like this material on here. It's not hard plastic, which I really appreciate. This soft touch um, carbon fiber-esque looking material, which I really like. Again, that carries around to the door panels and a whole bunch of other um, pieces of the vehicle. Also, Nissan has given us some really huge <laughs> cup holders in this center console area. Again, my tiny little travel mug fits perfectly, though you can fit definitely a large um, Yeti tumbler or stanley for example those would fit perfectly in there um i will say i wish this center armrest could move up a little bit though i, I do like this kind of trim that's going around it the stitching that kind of blends into the armrest pretty nice touch here we have a pretty tiny little center console here I, this could be a little bit bigger i will say off first impressions though we do have a decent size glove box over here to kind of ease your storage complaints and again pretty big door panels here we have storage up here as well as down there and so far so nice in this interior we have a heated steering wheel as well um nice easily accessible climate vents around you and i almost forgot to mention that we actually have a physical volume knob if you want to change that yourself as well really nice touch and it's going to sound pretty good with this upgraded bose audio system and these cool headrest mounted speakers over here and i always i love in nissan's their um dimmer switch capability if you want to kind of dim and lighten the screen we also have a 360 degree view camera as we can see on this kicks a really fantastic touch here we can see a nice view around the entire exterior of the kicks and we can change our camera views to see our um, wheels up close we also have some trajectory and some 
other markers to kind of indicate where the vehicle is. And you can also access it from the infotainment system if you want to change some settings on there as well. So pretty nice new touches we have on the interior of the kicks. And I almost forgot to mention again, this absolutely huge panoramic glass roof that is now available on the 2025 kicks. I think this is really going to be a nice, um, more premium feature that we don't really see too much in this segment. It really helps open up the cabin. And of course, we can control all of that via these little toggles up here for our shade, as well as opening up this front panel as over here as well. Well...